Hello everyone, welcome to iQuanta. Let's discuss another question from this amazing series of Quant 200. And uh, before you start watching the solution, try it yourself. This question, it says the total number of factors of an eight digit number PQRS, PQRS is N, where N is a natural number. Find the sum of all the possible values of N if it is given that PQRS, a four digit number, has three factors. PQRS is a four digit number, right? So, for example, if we have 123, can we write it as 100 plus 23? Then we have 7, 9, 2, 8. Can we write it as 7 into 1000 plus 928? If we have 9, Two seven two eight, and we can write it as ninety two into one thousand plus seven twenty eight, and so on. So, just understanding this, can we write PQRS PQRS as ten thousand into PQRS plus PQRS? Then we can take PQRS common. And this will become 10,000 plus 1, which is nothing but PQRS into 10,000 and 1. Now, you can also find this factorization very easily if you are aware of some, some uh, calculations in case of numbers that if you have a single digit number, let's say A, and you multiply it by 11, this digit will be repeated, A and A like 2 into 11 is 22. Then if you have a two digit number, AB, if you multiply it by 101, it will be AB, AB. Like if you multiply 35 by 101, what are we getting? 35, 35. Similarly, if you have a three digit number, ABC, you multiply it by 1001, then this three digit number will repeat itself. Similarly, if you have four digit number, PQRS, PQRS, then what we can say that one of the factors of this number is 10,001 and then PQRS. Now, what is 10,001? Again, it's a very popular number in terms of uh, factorization. This can be written as 73 into 137. Let's say it is given that PQRS has three factors. PQRS has three factors. What is that? Which kind of numbers has three factors? Right? So, if you want to check the pattern, let's say 4. 4 is a perfect square, 2 is square. And it has factors 1, 2 and 4, 3 factors. Let's say 9. 9 is also a perfect square. 1, 3, 9. It has 3 factors. Then 16 is also a perfect square. But 16 is 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. 5 factors. So, not all the perfect squares have three factors. So, what kind of perfect squares have three factors? A number which can be written as prime number square, right? Any number which can be written as a square of a prime number will have exactly three factors. Like 11 square, 121. 13 square, 169. 19 square, 361. All of these numbers will have uh, three digit, three factors. So, basically, PQRS is nothing but prime number square into 73 into 137. Now, once again, PQRS is a four digit number, right? And the smallest prime number whose square is a four digit number, if you think, uh, it will be 37, right? Because 31 Hello. square is 961, 32 square is 1024. So after that, prime number 37. And what is 37 square? That is equal to 6, 9, 25 minus 13 is 12 plus 1. 136. This is a perfect square. 1369 is a perfect square. It will have exactly three factors. Then we can also take 41 square. Then we can take uh, 43 square. Similarly, somewhere in between 73 square will also be a value of PQRS 
and last it will be 97 square. All of these will be a four digit number and a perfect square which will have exactly three factors, right? So what we can say, what will be the number of factors of this number? So there will be two different kind of scenarios. One of the case will be when we have this prime number as any number except 73. Let's say 37 squared. So 37 into 73 to the power 1 into 137. What will be number of factors of this number? So 37 square will have three factors. 73 to the power 1 will have two factors. And 137 to the power 1 will have two factors as well because 137 is also a prime number. So a total of 12 factors means this is one of the possible value of n. Now can we take 73 as the other prime number? Now instead of 37 it could be any prime number 41, 43, 97 it will have the same number of factors but if I take this PQRS as 73 square then what will happen? Then we need to find number of factors of 73 to the power 3 into 137 to the power 1. Now 73 to the power 3 number of factors is 4 and 137 to the power 1 number of factors is 2. So total 8 factors. Now it says that total number of factors of this number is n. So n can take two different values. One value will be 12 and other will be 20. So the sum of all the values of n that we are looking for is 12 plus 8 that is equal to 20 and that will be our answer. So option B is correct. I hope you understood this solution. Thank you.